Hello, in this lecture we will talk about debits and credits and the one rule to rule them. In order to apply the one rule to rule how to make debit and credit accounts go up and down, we first need to memorize the normal balances of the account types, something we covered in a prior video and something you can get from a cheat sheet such as this. I do recommend using a cheat sheet as much as possible to know what those normal balances are so that we can then apply the one rule to increase or decrease these normal balance type accounts. The cheat sheet here will tell us that all asset accounts have debit balances. There are some exceptions, but typically all asset accounts have debit balances for the normal balance and all liabilities accounts have normal credit balances. Equity accounts have normal credit balances, meaning the total equity, the capital account, the retained earnings account, the income statement accounts, which are kind of part of the equity section, but really they're kind of the story to get us to the point in time of equity being revenue and expense accounts. Revenue has a credit balance, normal balance. Expenses have normal debit balances. Once we know this, we can then apply the one rule in order to make these accounts go up and down. That rule being that if we want to make an account go up, we're going to do the same thing to it as what it is. If we want to make an account go down, we're going to do the opposite thing to it as what it is. This rule can seem abstract at first, so let's take a look at some example walking through our cheat sheet starting with the asset accounts. All asset accounts have debit balances, so the rule will apply in the same way to the asset accounts. We'll look at the most famous or popular asset account first being cash. If we say that cash has 1,000 beginning balance in it, what does that mean? It means that cash has a debit balance of 1,000 in it because cash is an asset. Assets have normal debit balances. If we want cash to go up, we got more cash, then we apply the one rule. That being, we do the same thing to it as what it is. It's a debit balance account, therefore we debit it, and that will make it go up from 1,000 in this case to 1,200. Notice like things make it go up, debits are increasing. Again, if we say that we have 1,000 in the cash account beginning balance, that means that we have a debit balance of $1,000 normal balance in the asset account. If we want cash to go down, meaning we spent cash, we're going to apply the one rule and do the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. That will bring the balance down. Opposite things generally mean that there's going to be some subtraction here. The 1,000 minus the 200 leaves us with 800. Debits still winning, debits being greater than the credits, but they are winning by less, bringing that cash balance down. Because we deal with cash so much, it's possible to learn a rule that is not correct. And that rule, which is not correct, is that debits always make something go up and credits always make something go down. That is not the one rule. The one rule is the same thing makes it go up, the opposite thing makes it go down. If we have a normal balance of a debit, then the same thing is a debit making it go up. The opposite thing is a credit making it go down. However, if we apply this one rule to a, a credit balance account, then the opposite will be true as we will see. We can apply the same rule to all other assets, all assets having a normal debit balance. So they will look much the same to make them go up or down as our example for cash. For example, land is an asset. If we have office supplies as an asset, we can have the phone or a computer. Not the phone bill, the expense, but the phone or the computer itself could be an asset. A building or a factory and anything like equipment all will look much the same when we are making these accounts go up or down because they have a normal balance of a debit. Now let's move to liability accounts. Liability accounts having a normal credit balance. We're going to look at the example of accounts payable, the most common liability account representing the fact that we owe a vendor for something we purchased in the past similar to a credit card bill if we say that we have a thousand beginning balance in a liability account that means that we have a credit balance in it because liabilities have normal credit balances if we want to make it go up we're going to apply our one rule we're going to do the same thing to it so if we purchased something on account want it to go up we do the same thing to it in this case being a credit of the 200 that will make it go up to the 1200 in this case like things increasing again if we start with accounts payable liability having a beginning balance of a thousand that means that we have a credit balance of a thousand if we want to make it go down we're going to apply our one rule doing the opposite thing to it in this case a debit and that will make it go down we can see the credits are still winning but they're winning by less in this case 
when would we make the accounts payable go down when we pay off the accounts payable other liabilities that will act the same we got loans is going to be a liability has a normal credit balance and we have the vendors the accounts payable we also have other types of payables when we start off we're usually going to be looking at the accounts payable account uh, most of the time now let's take a look at the equity section we're going to be looking specifically at the capital accounts or the retained earnings if it was a corporation we will be looking at the capital account what is owed to the owner so here's the owner capital account representing what the business owes to the owner if we say that there's a thousand dollars in the capital beginning balance that means it's a thousand credit because the capital account has a credit balance in it if we want to make it go up like the owner put more money into the company so the company owes the owner then we're going to apply our one rule doing the same thing to it which in this case is another credit bringing that balance up to 1200 on the credit side like things increasing again if we say the beginning balance in the capital account is a thousand that means it's a credit of a thousand if we want to make it go down we're going to do the opposite thing to it in this case being a debit of the 200 bringing that capital account balance down what is owed to the owner up to eight hundred dollars when might this happen when we close out the draws eventually the draws will be closed out to the capital account reducing the capital account for the owner pulling money out that's an example of the capital accounts decreasing with the revenue account here having a credit balance revenue we're going to say we have computer repair revenue if we say that we have a beginning balance in the revenue account of one thousand dollars that means that we have a credit balance in there because it has a normal credit balance being revenue if we want to make revenue go up we're going to apply our one rule doing the same thing to it which in this case will be a credit that will make revenue go up in this case again to that 1200 for revenue on the credit side again if we say that revenue has a normal uh, beginning balance of one thousand dollars that means that it has a credit balance of a thousand if we need to make it go down we're going to do the opposite thing to it applying our one rule bringing it down to that 800. now you might be asking when would we do that when would we have to bring down revenue almost never it doesn't normally happen there may be some unusual circumstances but typically the customers pay us we don't pay the customer we may have a problem in which case we have an expense related to the transaction meaning net income would go down with an expense but revenue typically only goes one way it typically only goes up especially in book problems good fact to know and understand when working through problems we're typically only going to see credits in the revenue account let's take a look at the expenses expenses have a debit normal balance if we say that there's a thousand dollars in the expense account the phone expense in this case that means that we have a debit balance in the expense account all expense accounts have normal debit balances if we want then to make it go up meaning we incurred more phone bill phone expense then we're going to apply our one rule doing the same thing to it in this case debiting it bringing the amount up to 1200 and once again if we say that we have a beginning balance in the expense account of 1000 that means it's a debit balance because expenses have normal balances of debits if we want to make it go down we're going to do the opposite thing to it in this case being a credit that will make the balance go down to our 800 again the debits are still winning but it went down they're winning by less again you might be asking when would this happen almost never meaning we pay the phone company the phone company doesn't generally pay us there could be exceptions to this rule but typically and especially for book problems expenses will only go one way we'll only really see the debits and expenses increasing in the debit direction other types of expenses all having the normal debit balance and acting therefore the same way when we apply the one rule to them would be things like the auto expense not the auto itself but the gas and the repairs and maintenance things like wages expenses meals and entertainment the phone expense next time we will talk about some ideas to help with the recording of actual journal entries with the debits and the credits involved in a transaction but if we want to make an account go up or down this one rule is all we need to know along with the cheat sheet and the normal balances of an account